Okay guys, here's our palm nursery. And uh, we had a uh, four day cold snap in December. All of these palm trees are in pots. And you can see they look fine. But there's always gonna be one or two wimpy palms. Just kind of goes like people. There's some people that have a stronger immune systems than others and uh, they don't get sick as much or they don't get sick at all or they get over their sickness faster. So that's the same with palm trees. Some palm trees are much weaker than others. So we're looking over all the palms here. We have thousands of them in pots. Everything in the cold frame look good. All the five gallons look good. But there's one palm right here I noticed when I walked by. It does not look so good. You see? So everything here is exactly the same. You can see the sides of the pots are fully exposed. So they would have froze during the freeze. But this palm right here, I'm not going to say it's dead, but I'm going to say it's winter damage. So um, this spear, I can't pull out of that one. There's, there's multiple palms in this one gallon pot. This spear, that spear I can't pull out. That one I did pull out. But do you see how the leaves are kind of dried up looking on that palm? So that one definitely took a hit uh, in the winter. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't look good. That thing looks like crap too. See that? That's probably dead from last summer dried out but anyway this one right here uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it it definitely uh, definitely took a hit in the winter time all the other palms you can see didn't take a hit and uh, I'm not saying they're all from the same seed source I collect from different trees different palms around the island but uh, that's the way it goes so we know that is a wimpy palm tree so we're gonna put that one aside and just keep an eye on it I think uh, I'll just put it over here for now right there and we'll see if it uh, recovers. At least one of them might recover. The other one might be going downhill even further. So, But that's uh, when you have palms in pots, I always make sure to mulch them uh, properly so the pots don't freeze. Otherwise, you're going to have a palmsicle. And if the roots freeze and they can't draw moisture up to the top of the plant, well, most of the time you can kiss your palm tree goodbye. And I don't really care how hardy it is. If it's a needle palm, it can still freeze solid in a pot, which still blows me away because I have so many palms in these cold frames here thousands of palm trees in 2.5 inch liner size pots that don't freeze and they're not heated so go figure right anyway these are tough as nails these palms and uh, one out of thousands really isn't that bad if we lose one or two right that's just the way she goes all right guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for more palmy videos here from the gulf islands it is uh getting it's in, it's, it's getting closer to spring and it's feeling like it out here now, too. Cheers.